Hello! Today's video is a review on the iOptron SmartStar ER80 telescope. When I was writing my book, Budget Astrophotography, I needed a uh, inexpensive uh, telescope that typical people would go out and buy. Something that wasn't overly uh, pricey, wasn't hard to get, was very popular. Um, this particular telescope sells on Amazon for just a little over $300 which seems expensive for the size of it, but what you may not know is this is a fully motorized go-to telescope. So once you set it up and you tell it where to go, it actually goes to the target and tracks the target for you. So for $300, that's pretty inexpensive. This little guy is a 400 millimeter telescope, which means the length is 400 millimeters and it has an 80 millimeter objective, which lets in plenty of light for a lot of the brighter objects you're gonna see. Now one of the great things about this telescope is it packs up very small. It's very lightweight. It's something that's really easy to take with you. You can throw this in the, the trunk of your car. You can throw it in a small backpack and take it hiking up the side of the mountain. You can go pretty much anywhere with this thing. I've even seen people riding bicycles with a backpack with this in it going out of town to, to try and find darker skies. Now, for that kind of money, you're not getting a whole lot of really fancy stuff. What you get is two little eyepieces, which they're not bad for, for the money. That's a 25 and a 10 millimeter. You get a nice little cube mount. Ioptron does a really good job with these. It has a hand controller, which lets you put in where you want to go, direct it, just move it around. Uh, it has, I think, 5,000 or more targets in it. It's got quite a few. Um, I don't actually use it for that, but, but it works really well. Everything comes apart and goes together really easily. Uh, it's less than three feet long, just a few pounds. It can run off battery, which I found amazing, or it can run off of an AC cord, which is supplied. Now, you can do some astrophotography with this if you're talking about hooking up, say, you know, your iPhone to the end of it or something like that. What you're not going to want to do is hang a DSLR off the end of it or put an SSD on it. That's no problem though. If you really wanted to hang a DSLR off of it, if you pick up my book, Budget Astrophotography, I actually show you how to counterweight the thing, make an adapter, and, and set it all up. It does require slight modifications, but the nice thing is you can put it all back together uh, and have it pretty much factory once you're done if you wanted to resell it or get rid of it. The thing is, is a little odd in that you set it up pointing it south instead of north. Most telescopes and most astronomers out there will tell you, you polar align everything north, which in this particular case is that way. This one on the other hand has a little arrow on the top pointing it south. You can still of course do north orientation, you just point it the other direction. Now this little thing, the, the mount. So a single screw and the telescope comes off. They make a variety of telescopes which fit this particular mount. You're not going to get very big, you're not going to get anything that can do any kind of serious astrophotography, but that's okay because we're only talking about a $300 setup, scope, mount included. Setting it up takes just a couple of minutes and it's very, very easy. So how do I rate this telescope? Well, it's not the most stable thing in the world, which you would expect for something that's this small, this lightweight, and this inexpensive. But if you want something to just get out and see the stars, and you don't mind it being a little bit of wobbly when, it's, when there's some wind out like there is today, or when you bump it, then that's fine. It's great. It gives reasonable views. The views can be upgraded for not a whole lot of money by buying some nicer eyepieces. Orion makes some pretty good eyepieces, Celestron too. You don't need to get ridiculous with it. We're not talking about hundreds of dollars in eyepieces. But if you can go out and buy a nice $50, $60 eyepiece and stick it in here, your views will be incredibly better. So what kind of targets is this good for? Well, obviously lunar observing. You can also do solar if you have an appropriate solar filter for it. It's great for wide open spaces. Any kind of uh, large uh, objects in the sky, for example, many of your uh, Messier objects, uh, some of my favorites, like the Eagle, look pretty good in it. You can also uh, do the Pleiades, uh, M46, uh, of course Orion Nebula, M30 looks excellent, the Andromeda Nebula. So you've got a pretty good array of, of, of targets. You can also use it as a spotting scope if you want to, just remember everything's upside down. But that's about it for this scope. 
If you like it, if you like the review, and you think you may want to buy it, use the links down in the notes below. Helps pay for my website a little bit. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time.